the excitement in the market is back and it's back strong. But there are some things to be worried about that uh, I think I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later. But for now, if you're looking at the price of Bitcoin, right, it's trying to hit that $100,000 mark, but it's not. But that's actually good news because what else we see is we're starting to see altcoins start to pump up, start to kind of uh, trail along with Bitcoin as well, right? Ethereum is up. Uh, Cardano is up, Solana is up, Pulse Chain is up, right? Pulse Chain is now sitting at uh, that's thirty percent below SAC price, which is really good. I mean, considering where we're coming from, right? So it's starting to look really, really good. I mean, and that's what you expect, right? When Bitcoin pumps, owls are supposed to follow after. So that's good in the market. But one of the things that I think uh, I've been thinking about lately is the fact that look, there's this euphoria in the market, this excitement, right? That oh my God, now we're going to the moon. Everything is going exactly well. We've got. Uh, uh, the elections worked out in a way that many people who are in the markets are really happy about. So most people are, are excited and it seems like uh, we're just getting into this uh, beautiful, beautiful, what can I say, la la land or some, some really great times that we're getting into. So it, it's, it, it's good to be, to, to be a little bit cautious and think that, look, what are the potentials that could go bad? Because obviously as much as, look, all the stars seem to be aligning ready for a massive bull run, right? There, there could also be some black swan events that could happen, right? There could also be some kind of sabotage for some people who are not happy with the uh, election outcome and some people who don't want uh, the people who are, in, who are in power to get the credit for that. So there could be some things that could, there could be some spanners thrown in the works as it were. But uh, I think that is something to think about, but it's not, it's not, 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 not that big a deal because all of the other stuff is really, really working out really good. I mean, you, I, I, I like talking about this whole period that we went through, man, and uh, the time we went through, the, the whole berry cycle, the whole flood cycle, all the stuff that happened, and it's finally come to an end. Now we are actually, the fruits of all the hard work are here. Now, obviously, Palestine is still below sacred, right? <laughs> So as much as uh, it's a great time, as much as number going up, we still do need to add that massive boom, push. We still need that pump up. We still need to see massive pump ups. But the, the best people who are those who doubled down during the bear, and which is the hardest time to double down. I mean, the people who are getting in now, I would say that they're very lucky because they're getting at a really safe time to get in and they're getting in at good prices. And the potential for gains for those people are great. But you've got to say hands off for those who are dollar cost averaging at the lows hats off to those people because they're really 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 uh, those are the ones that they will get huge benefits obviously because the multiple from from the low to 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 where we are to to where we're going is going to be that that much bigger but that was the hardest thing to do anyway guys let me know what you think do you think that there's reason to be concerned or not and is this the start of a massive massive outgoing seasons as we see that the bitcoin dominance drop a little bit right it's still strong i mean it's sitting at 55 percent right so it's still really strong bitcoin dominance but we're starting to see some of that uh uh that that dominance had to drop a little bit i think the strength of bitcoin in this run is so much that we will not see a massive drop in bitcoin dominance right so i think uh dominance we're talking about in the 40 percent that's how the, it can't go below 40 i'll say that high 40s right 45 that's where i expect it to to stay high 45 uh, over 45 percent and but if you compare with the other runs we've had bitcoin has dropped to as low as 38 percent bitcoin dominance right so i think 45 somewhere there is a good dominance for us uh, is a good bottom of, of, of bitcoin dominance in the cycle anyway guys let me know what you think in the comments below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you again next time